This is supposed to be the fabulous retreat. Instead, Sandy Klein says she and her husband were left with an unfinished renovation, and the work that was done was shoddy, she says. A shower that sprays brown water. They're all kind of falling apart. A broken custom bed frame. A closet with nowhere to hang clothes. He had no clue what he was doing. According to an independent inspection report, windows, plumbing and a deck were all installed incorrectly. The clients say they spent about $70,000 on the job and estimate it'll cost another $30,000 to fix. They want RBC to foot the bill since the bank owns Smart Reno and the client signed up for it after the bank sent an email promoting it. And the whole program was about trusting the bank to send us somebody uh, trustworthy, licensed, insured and, and capable. Smart Reno's website says its trusted contractors have been verified for insurance, past lawsuits and licensing. Online reviews show others have had positive experiences, but the Vanderleests did not. Blondie, come here. When Christina and Justin Vanderlees needed a contractor after buying a fixer-upper farmhouse, their RBC mortgage specialist recommended Smart Reno. These were supposedly vetted professionals. But they say they were left with cracking and bubbling drywall, a shifting bathtub, cracking tiles and a leak in the ceiling from a newly installed toilet. It just started kind of coming through the ceiling so I had to put down buckets. The Vanderlees want a more transparent and robust vetting process for future customers. Why would they promote people that aren't good at what you know what they're doing? RBC says it takes concerns seriously, but it doesn't accept any liability for contractors, saying the renovation agreement is between the contractor and homeowner. As for the two contractors in question, RBC says they're no longer part of the Smart Reno program. Angelina King, CBC News, Toronto.